Attention, international medical graduates aspiring to practice in Canada. Today we have some crucial information that can shape your professional trajectory. Over the recent years, Canada has seen a substantial shift in its medical licensing process. These aren't minor adjustments, but significant transformations that can impact your future. Authorities have implemented these to maintain high medical standards, aiming for a robust healthcare system. The alterations reflect their commitment to quality, safety, and the well-being of all Canadians. If you're an international medical graduate aspiring to practice here, it's essential to familiarize with the new framework. These new might seem daunting initially, but worry not. Today, our goal is to simplify this information, highlighting the aspects most relevant to your career. We'll analyze each change, discuss its consequences, and its direct impact on you. We understand your dedication to medicine, and these changes aim to align your skills with Canada's medical standards. Please like and subscribe before we move forward. The medical world is always evolving, and so are its regulations. Adjusting to these changes is not just necessary, but it forms a crucial part of your professional growth. As we explore these updates, you'll find many reasons to stick around till the end. Firstly, the long wait times for credential evaluations are now history. Gone are the days of endless delays. Thanks to the commendable work of the Medical Council of Canada. This organization, committed to improving medical credentialing, has played a significant role in this transformation. Their relentless efforts have led to the development of a streamlined process that has drastically reduced the wait time. By adopting innovative practices and leveraging the latest technology, the evaluation time has been cut down from several months to just four to six weeks. This is indeed a significant milestone. However, the journey doesn't end here. The Medical Council of Canada, in its quest for excellence, is continually seeking ways to refine their processes. They aspire to make the task of credential evaluation faster and smoother. Plans for further digitization and automation are underway, promising a more efficient future for all those seeking credential evaluations. So what we see is not just an end to the long waiting periods, but the start of a more efficient system. Hence, it's not just about saying goodbye to the old, but also welcoming the new with more exciting changes on the horizon. And there are more exciting changes to come. So keep watching. The next update pertains to the expansion of eligibility for the Medical Council of Canada Evaluating Examination, or MCCEE. This is a significant policy shift bound to have substantial implications for Canada's medical field. It provides numerous opportunities for medical students, allowing them to showcase their expertise and ability. The MCCE, once an examination reserved for qualified professionals, is now open to those still pursuing their qualifications. This isn't a minor adjustment. It's a path-shifting decision that signifies broader acceptance of future practitioners' potential. Now, medical students can aspire to overcome the MCCE an exam known for rigorous standards to evaluate practice readiness. This allows medical students to build their professional credibility during their student years, providing a valuable career head start. Consequently, this change motivates students to dedicate more to their studies, striving for a deeper understanding of medical science and enhancing their practical skills. Furthermore, the Mitsisiya isn't just an exam, it's a symbol of professional credibility. By allowing students to take it, we're welcoming them to a prestigious league of professionals. So get ready, start preparing now and gain an edge. This gives current students a head start on the licensing process. The third and potentially the most thrilling update is indeed about the increased availability of residency positions for international medical graduates. This development is a beacon of hope, creating excitement among IMGs worldwide. The previously limited number of positions has now significantly risen. This means that opportunities for IMGs to secure a spot in these sought after residency positions have greatly increased. More positions result in a diverse and enriched medical environment, an environment where knowledge and experiences from various regions converge to create a rich medical spectrum.
the enhanced number of positions levels the playing field for those talented individuals who might have been overshadowed due to the constrained positions the past. It is indeed an avenue of opportunities for IMGs. More doors and paths have opened, making more dreams achievable. The once steep journey to practicing medicine in Canada is now more navigable. It's a refreshing new dawn on the horizon of their medical careers. The journey to practicing medicine in Canada just got a little bit smoother. Now, let's discuss some updates from the Committee on Accreditation of Canadian Medical Schools, or CACMS, and the Association of Faculties of Medicine of Canada, or AFMC. The CACMS is a key player in medical education, continuously enhancing standards and procedures. Its recent overhaul of standards aimed primarily at outcomes indicates a shift towards holistic outcome-oriented learning. This is seen as a positive move towards bettering the quality of education and equipping students to handle real-world challenges. The AFMC represents the interests of the faculties of medicine. It influences health health care by promoting excellence in medical education and research. Recently, the AFMC introduced the concept of social responsibility into their agenda, encouraging future doctors to adopt a more socially conscious approach. This promotes doctors as not just healthcare providers, but advocates for community health. These updates mark the evolving state of medical education and the profession. It's an engaging time to be in the medical field with these bodies persistently pushing for advancements. To be prepared for the journey ahead, it's vital for medical aspirants and professionals to stay informed about these changes. Keep up with these bodies to understand how their changes may impact your journey to practicing medicine in Canada. Besides these significant updates, there are other recent changes you should be aware of. The landscape of medical education has seen an overhaul. The focus has now shifted towards enhancing the practical skills of the students, moving away from purely textbook-based learning. Under this new approach, medical education aims at delivering a holistic learning experience. The aim is to mold professionals who are as adept at performing procedures as they are at diagnosing ailments. This fresh emphasis on a practical-based approach is designed to prepare graduates for the real-world challenges in their medical careers. Accompanying this, a system of continuous assessments has been put in place. These assessments are designed not just to test knowledge, but also to assess a student's aptitude for applied medical skills Another key change is the significant support extended to international graduates. Acknowledging the global draw of the medical field, steps have been taken to ease these individuals' transition into the Canadian medical landscape. This includes language support, cultural integration, and career guidance, making their assimilation into Canada smoother. These changes are poised to revolutionize medical education in Canada, intending to create healthcare professionals who are not only knowledgeable, but can also apply this knowledge effectively. These updates aim to make your journey to practicing medicine in Canada smoother and more efficient. So there you have it, international medical graduates. Today, we explored Canadian medical licensing. The recent changes in the process can seem complex, but they deeply affect how you can start your career in Canada. The journey to a practicing doctor here is unique. It demands understanding of the licensing system that has seen significant changes. Our aim was to present these changes, focusing on their impact on you. We discussed strategies, and examined how these changes could shape your future medical career in Canada. The goal was to offer you a clearer perspective and information that will help you understand this complex process. The facts shared today are vital for you to adapt to the new requirements of the Canadian medical licensing system. Remember, your dream of practicing medicine in Canada is now closer than ever before. Also, like, subscribe, and share this content, and see you in the next one.